Hello, in this video I attempt to walk 100,000 steps in 24 hours. Inspired by Lex Friedman, I will also be doing an experiment in gratitude every 10,000 steps. What that means is every 10,000 steps I'll say one thing that I'm grateful for and explain it a little bit. Let's get started. It's about 4.30. Let's get started. Safety first. We're gonna start the day by taking Rollo for a walk. Only 99,000 more to go. Poop number one. Rolo always poops twice within five minutes of each other. One massive and then one teeny tiny. Five minutes later. Poop number two. Number one, I'm grateful that I never have to worry about where my food comes from. If you think about a lot of people in the world, they don't have access to clean water or adequate food. They may not know where their next meal is coming from, even people here in the States. So it's just something I'm very grateful that I've never had to worry about. Go get it. Go get it. Go get it. Go eat. Go eat. I'm gonna let him eat and rest for a bit while I do a little, get my coffee ready and do some more walking. We have arrived at Harris Lake it's got a nice about five mile loop, so we're gonna go ahead and hit that. Should give us about 10,000 steps. What do you think, Ro? He's ready to go. Number two, I'm grateful that there are people who love me, namely my family. It's something I try not to take for granted. I know a lot of people don't have that, but having that, that knowledge, that there will always be people there for me, is a truly profound thing that, again, I am very grateful for. Noon. I'm at 25,000 steps, a quarter of the way done, a little bit behind pace. Took a brief break to charge the watch. Did some stepping upstairs. Time to continue on. Number three, I'm grateful for my dog and that I've been able to uphold my responsibility in providing care for him. I know this one seems a little more on the silly side and actually he's not here right now. He's napping inside. He went 10 miles with me and I think he's only rated for five. So, but he's, having him has taught me a lot about responsibility and patience. I, I do consider him a member of my family. So the fact that I've been able to continue to provide for him, as I promised, is uh, something I don't want to take for granted.
bear with me through this win, but number four is I'm grateful to be an American. Really enough said there. Number five, I'm grateful for my childhood. I should say my parents were adamant that me and my siblings never had to want for anything. So even in our toughest times, we never really recognized that we were going through those tough times, which is, I mean, that's phenomenal parenting. Walking now with the mom. It's pretty cold, so I'm gonna keep this one quick, but number six, I am grateful to have had phenomenal mentors, whether it be my rodeo coach or the many different bosses I've had, I've or my father, I've had many people in my life who have taught me what it means to be both a good and bad person. And even for the people who weren't the best to me, I, I could still consider them mentors. And they showed me that, uh, I mean, each of them, I'm sorry, it's so cold, I can't think. <laughs> but yes, I'm grateful to have throughout my life had phenomenal mentors. Charging the watch for the home stretch here, so figured I'd make the best of the time and pre record the rest of my gratefulness list. So, number seven, I'm grateful for my friends. I don't have many, but the ones I do have, I know would, uh, if I really needed them, drop everything and fly out to me. Number eight, I am grateful to be able to experience life, namely as a human. Uh, it's, it's a very confusing, beautiful experience. The next day. We got years of messages stored. So I failed. I reached a total of about 84,000 steps, 83 or 84. My watch had died. It was, it was low battery. And I went to charge it, and as soon as I put it on the charger, I sat on the ground and I just fell asleep. So it's a little bit disheartening not being able to finish what I started, but I'm um, looking at the positive side. I had a good opportunity to meditate on some things that I was thankful for and to do something that pushed myself. I certainly will be doing this again in the future. Now I know I need to prepare a little better. For next time, I am definitely going to not pace myself so much in the beginning. I am going to work towards it, and in the future, I will do it again and be successful. Thank you. <laughs>